Report, sailor. Well, we've caught something in the net, Captain. <laughs> Finally. We might not have to starve to death in this blasted mist after all. All right, let's see what we've caught. Reel it in, Joe! What, what kind is it? Is it a big one? Can we eat it? It's... It's an airplane. Ah, release the net! I thought we were saved. Scrap salvage is the last thing we need right now. But, sir, what if there's food in there? Rations of some sort? Or cake! Maybe it's full of cake! <laughs> uh, go ahead. Reel it in and get your cake. I don't care. Ouch! I told you it was a bad idea to have a farm of cacti in an airplane! <laughs> don't this my cacti, man. It's not their fault that you landed on them. Well, maybe if you hadn't crashed the airplane, I might have considered not sitting on one. Oh, yeah, great landing, Buona. I'm glad you're still alive, so I still have the chance to strangle you! Master Pilot, huh? Uh, enter? Hello! Funny food. So, let me get this straight. We're simply stuck out here in the mist? I'm afraid so. This ship isn't going anywhere. Without a lighthouse to guide us, we have no idea where to steer. We're just gonna have to wait it out. If you're lucky, it won't be more than a couple of weeks. I can't believe this. Is there really nothing we can do? Well, if we knew our bearings, I guess that'd be a good start. But we don't. We've always relied on the lighthouse for navigation. Buona, you're a pilot. Do you have any ideas? What you need, lady? Our bearings. We need to find out in which direction the ship is heading. Ah, no worries, Lena. You can always count on Buona Charters. Great. I'll take this opportunity to catch up on some more reading. Hmm. How the heck am I gonna figure out what direction the ship's going? Hey, Joe, what you looking for? I'm trying to catch a glimpse of Port R2, or another vessel, or anything that might help us get back to port. But all I see is darkness. And that there buoy, of course. <sighs> We're gonna stay moored to it until the fog lifts, so we don't just keep drifting away. Could be today, could be in a week. Can I help? Well, your lady friend was onto something there. If we somehow can figure out our bearings, we might just have a chance of getting out of this suit on our own. What is this place? You're on board the MS Beacon, an eel trawler lost somewhere in the thick soup of mist far from its port. So this boat catches eels? Sure. It's the only thing we misters can do. Hunt for real. Ain't nothing else out in the mist as far as I know. Only darkness. Cold, wet, darkness. Problem now is we can't catch Jack in this thick mist. No eels get stuck in a static net. And we don't dare move in case we drift further away. What is the mist anyways? I have no idea. It's just... It's just there. Is there no water down there? I can't hear any waves. Nobody knows what's down there. We're not supposed to ask. If you start asking those kind of questions in a port, you'll get busted in no time. We don't talk about it. But boats just kind of float. And that's all we need to know to catch our eat. So, what happened to the lighthouse? <laughs> Beats me. It worked fine when we left port. And about a week ago, when I woke up from my shift one morning, I couldn't see it. And we've just been aimlessly drifting since. Can I help? Well, your lady friend was onto something there. If we somehow can figure out our bearings, we might just have a chance of getting out of this soup on our own. Catch you later, Joe. Keep wanna stay afloat. How you feeling, lady? Oh, I'm doing my best to distract the seasickness with this book of yours. And it's actually working. Your father, Kaunen Dodo, was onto something big with this. This book really is an amazing find. And I'm sure we'll be able to reach the Underland with this. I just know it. 
We need to figure out its meaning before it's too late. Too late for what? Listen, Buona. The thugs who broke into the university and chased us from the Charter are dead serious on covering their tracks. We must get into port and find some answers before they silence every last lead to their dirty operation. Reaching the Underland? Shh, Buona, stop talking so loud about it. Yes, of course we're trying to reach the Underland. That's why we need this book. Something real crooked is going on down there, and I'm hell-bent on finding out what it is. Ito, brother! How you doing, man? I'm okay, Buana. Just a little seasick. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lie here for a while. Of course, man. I've got this covered. Hey, can I borrow that screwdriver? <laughs> sure, man. Knock yourself out. Thanks, buddy. No problem, Buana. Go drive them screws. I guess we won't need our makeshift safety belts anymore, but the duct tape might still come in handy. Perfect! This is probably exactly what Joe needs. Hey, Buona, I thought tinkering with the airplane was my job. No, no. Your job is fixing the airplane after I break it. <laughs> Heading north, northeast. Check it out. Great! Guessing our bearing without the lighthouse to guide us is absolutely impossible. This should definitely help us get to the port. Now, all we need is a map so we can figure out our location. So we still have no idea where we are? I'm afraid so, pal. And with a captain going full barrel on the eel rinse, I'm afraid we can forget asking him for help. Ah, if only we had a map or something. No worries, man. I'll think of something. Hmm. What's this? Ouch! <laughs> Those wires are dangerous. <laughs> First class engineering. Light! Beautiful light! Captain Slash the wires said we have to conserve energy, but he's taking it too far. Oh, this darkness is horrible. I'm just thinking about all those scary things out in the mist is driving me mad! What scary things? Pirates! Bloodthirsty pirates! Not to mention the eels. Small ones are friendly enough, but the big ones... Oh, the big ones. I don't want to think about it. Wish we were back in Port Archie. There are pirates out there? You're kidding me. You never heard of the Sicilians? Nastiest pirates there are. They're a curse to these mists and to all of us who work it. They hack and slash their way through any vessel they encounter, no matter the flag. Oh, it's a bloody mess when they're done. Stay clear of the Sicilians if you want to keep your body parts. That's all I'm saying, mate. They're a bloodthirsty lot. Eaten by eels? Really? Really? You never heard about the Hungries? I've heard tales of them swallowing entire ships, twice the size of this one. You mean a giant eel could pop up and eat us at any minute now? Well, as long as there's a charge left in our batteries, we should be okay. Legend has it they never come close when you got your lights on. It's what happens when we run out of fuel and everything goes dark that scares me. Tell me about Port Archu. It's the only town down here under St. Armando. As far as I know, at least. It's the home port of most ships working the mist. Sometimes the fog lifts, but most of the time it's just completely enveloped in a thick, soupy fog. It's no happy place, but it's certainly better than being stuck out here. There's warmth there. <gasps> and food! Wonderful food! Oh, crikey, mate. Oh, it's cracking stuff. See you around. Hey, look, a loose spring. I'd better take it before it pokes someone's eye out. He 
it's locked. Hmm, the window is fastened with two screws. Let's get this window off. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh boy, sometimes I'm so smart I surprise myself. Looks like he finished a whole bottle of that nasty eel rinse. No wonder he's out cold. Hey, it's a navigation book. Hey, look what I borrowed from the captain's bridge. Hey, that's just what we need. We're in the golden rubble, man. <laughs> I could have never guessed. <laughs> that means we're ready to fire up the engines and get out of here. I never thought I'd say this, but it's gonna be good getting back into port. We have here. The name's Barlow. Police Chief Barlow. You're under arrest. All of you. Arrest? On what charges? Don't try and fool me, Angel. The Journal of the Journey Down doesn't belong to you. Hey, give that back to her! <laughs> I don't think so. You boys gonna spend some time in the can. And you and me, Angel. We're gonna have a little chit-chat. wonder what they're gonna do to her. I wonder what they're going to do to us. We thought we were screwed back home in Kingsport Bay. Look at us now. Yeah, we didn't get much of a warm welcome, did we? <laughs> nope. Hey, Kito. Who <laughs> did you fool? <laughs> <laughs> hey, cut it out, Buona! <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Won't do it again. <laughs> ah Oops! <laughs> oh, my head is ringing. I think I broke it. Your head is still in one piece, man. But look, you broke my chains when you fell. Good job, man. Yeah. 
Oh, that's one badass yo-yo. Man, it's super heavy. There. A little bit of home decoration can really make a difference. <laughs> Bombs away! Mighty mud juggler! Look, Kito! I blasted a hole through the wall! Ha <laughs> ha! Good job, Buana! Does it lead anywhere? I guess I'm about to find out. I guess this is where the prisoners get their exercise. I wonder what they're mining. Hey, there's a pickaxe in that cart! But I can't reach it from here. to prop up this lever somehow. Hey, what you find out there, Mon? It's a prison yard with lots of machines and stuff. Oh, exciting! Ha! Just imagine all the creepy stuff I could do with this. Okay, here we go. Dead man switch activated. Hey, little pickaxe, come to Papa. I have a feeling you and me are going to be good friends. Check this out, man. I found a pickaxe. Oh, so moon. You should be able to break all sorts of stuff with that. I should be trying to break his chains open, not him. Buona. Hanging upside down was starting to lose its novelty effect. All right, let's break this thing open. <laughs> ah, Buona, you're a genius. Okay, this is gonna be real gross, but it's our only chance to get out of here. <laughs> I guess a little sewage perfume won't kill us. I hope not. Keep your nose shut and your eyes open. It's pretty dark in here. <laughs> and pretty slimy. Hey, it's kind of slippery. <laughs> I can breathe again. Whew. You all right, Buona? I'm good. I think I can make it over that fence over there. Looks like I can get into the city that way. You go see if you can find our airplane. I'll go look for Lena, okay? Sounds like a plan, Mon. With that new mud juggler perfume of yours, I'm sure she'll jump right into your arms. Good luck! Man, I really got to get out of this prison suit. 
or I'll be busted in no time. Better try and find some new clothes before I start looking for Lena. It's full of empty tin cans. Hey, I found some canned lobster. All right, Buana. Gotta stay low key now. Can't risk being seen here in. Hey, stranger. Oh, man. Would you be so kind as to help a lady in distress? Uh, help with what? I think I just. dropped my matches. Oops. I can be real clumsy sometimes. Uh, look, I don't think I can... Oh, come on. I don't fight. That's more like it. <laughs> what a gentleman. Hey, looks like you've got yourself into some trouble, Mr. Gentleman. What were you in for? The police locked me up after my airplane crashed. Your aeroplane? You mean you're a pilot? You're beginning to interest me. A little bit. Listen, lady, can I come inside? I really need to get out of these clothes. Well, that's very forward of you. If you think I'm letting some fugitive lawbreaker in from the streets to get naked, you're crazy, mister. Jeez. Thanks for the help. It's a newspaper vending machine. Today's headline is Extra! Lighthouse sabotage brings Port Archer to a standstill. If only there was some way I could break it open. Pretty sure the jail is over that way. I'm not going any closer. It's locked. I don't think I'm getting in that way. So, when's you figure the shipment's gonna start coming in again, Mo? I don't know, Vince. Looks like the blackout ain't going away. Don't look like it. So how are we gonna push our goods when there ain't no ships around? Beats me, Vince. If I knew, I wouldn't be standing here freezing, staring at your mug all day. Hey, Mo, look at that. Hey, <laughs> nice pajamas, kid. Looks like this fella's on vacation from the slammer. Don't you reckon, Mo? <laughs> Sure does, Vince. Hey, kid, maybe you should slip into some new clothes, huh? I don't figure you're gonna last long in them stripes. <laughs> yeah, that's my problem. You guys don't happen to have some clothes I could borrow. Kid, you've come to the right place. It just so happens that I, Honest Mo, and my associate here, Trusty Vince... Have a whole crate of clothes we'd love for you to purchase. Finest stuff. Prime Armandin leather. <laughs> yeah, real leather. Fancy pricey goods. 
Five hundred bucks, and the crate is yours. A whole crate of clothes? We deal in bulk, all right? It's a steal, kid. Yeah, five hundred bucks, you get the whole crate. Eh, uh, I don't have any money. Maybe I could just borrow them, eh? Listen, kid, we've got our own troubles, all right? This whole business with the lighthouse is killing us. We need some dough so we can get off the street. We're freezing our kneecaps off out here. Hey, it's a crate full of Patitos XXL. My favorite nacho brand. Can I have some? These things are banned. We can't push them. Go ahead and grab a bag, kid. We're sick of them. Haven't eaten anything else for a week. Wow, thanks. Oh, boy. I remember these calorie bombs from Kingsport Bay. They turned Tito from slim to chubby in just one summer. So how's business? It's a frozen dead beat, kid. Ain't no work, ain't no heat. Nothing we can do but stand here and freeze our fingers off. Aye. And wait for the shipments to start coming in again. What you guys doing here? We work the docks, kid. When the shipments come in, we load, unload, bargain, swap, trade, fiddle, do the jimmy, run the books, and then wait for the next shipment to come in. It's been a dead beat the past week, though. Yeah, ain't no ships coming or going ever since the lighthouse stopped. About those clothes. Yeah? Can I borrow them? I'll pay you once I get a hold of some money. Promise. Sorry, kid. No cash, no clothes. Kid, this ain't no charity. It's too cold to be giving clothes away. We might need them. Yeah, if we don't get some heat soon, I'll be wearing the whole damn crate. I'm looking for a lady who arrived in port this night. Ah, you one of the fellas who came in on the Pico, ain't ya? Yeah, yeah, I knew I'd seen that mug before. Man, you was fast getting busted, wasn't ya? What happened to the lady? That's what I'm trying to find out. Nice hats. They're not just hats, kid. They're union membership hats. We had to pay off all sorts of fellas to get these. You guys have special union hats? Sure. Show up at the Miss Front without one and you're gonna go to bed on an empty stomach. It's a great big racket and we're at the bottom of it. The fellas who run the union, the cops, and the mob. They're all making a mint while we're down here busting our noodles. You guys gotta fight the oppression! Fire upon them exploiters! Hey, we'd squeal like a pair of stoolie rats on eel fumes if only there was someone to rat to. But there just ain't. The coppers are just as crooked as the union and the mob here in Port Archu. When they're all in bed with one another, there ain't much we little folk can do. Ain't it the truth, Mo? The powers that be gotta crumble and fall before we'll see any change down here, kid. So who's calling the shots? Oh, it's a bleeding mess, ain't it, Vince? It's all spaghetti, Mo. The union's run by the mob, and the mob's fed by the people on top. Yeah, and the chief of police and the mayor want to pretend they're top brass. But there's no fooling us. We ain't no palookas. They're controlled by hotshots from topside, just like anyone else important here in Port Archu. I got to go. Hey, find your own trash can. Yeah, this one's our favorite. You got to respect that. Let's fire this up. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Hey, that ain't so dumb. Oh, gosh, that feels good. I can feel my fingers again. Ah, nice going, kid. No problemo. Hey, Mo, how come we never thought of that? How's it going, fellas? Doing great now with the fire. Thanks, kid. About those clothes. Yeah? Please, can I borrow some clothes? What do you say, Mo? The guy helped us with the fire. Sure, kid. We owe you one. See that big pile of crates? It's in there somewhere. A small wooden one. Well, would you look at that? Looking sharp, kid. Looks like you're ready for the town. Thanks, fellas. Forget about it. We people getting in trouble with the law. We gotta stick together, you hear? Hello? 
pipes. Who's there? Are you here to deliver the repairs? Repairs for what? Pollards. I've been expecting that shipment for more than a week now. Morton's my name. I'm the lighthouse keeper. The name's Buana. I'm new in town. <laughs> Ain't no mistaking that. Always glad to have visitors. Make yourself right at home, son. Nice place you got here. <laughs> Thanks, son. I try to keep her tidy. What can I do for you? What happened to the lighthouse? Ten nights ago, there was a terrible, fierce thunderstorm, and it hit Port Artu with full force. I had to ward off flying roof tiles as I nailed the shutters to the windowsill. Trust me, son, I've seen storms that'd make your bones cringe and your heart cry. But this storm, it... this was something else. Then, suddenly, a flying vessel appeared from out of the storm, and it made straight for the lighthouse. Even in the wind and darkness, there was no mistake in that airship. It was the Sisulus. The Sisulus? Aye. Before I knew it, the whole crew was inside the lighthouse wreaking havoc. They smashed the lantern up at the top of the tower, and ripped out machine parts from the guts of the service room down here. Brought me to tears seeing old Faithful battered and broken like that. Sorry for your loss. Thank you, Buana. This old lighthouse is the closest to a family that I've got. Anyhow, Old Faithful has been dark and still ever since. Need any help? I've got to get these gears and thingamadoodles in order somehow. If only I had my old blueprints here, this would be a piece of crackers. This here Port Artu lighthouse is of a very special breed, you see. Specifically built for the harsh conditions of the never-ending mist. There has got to be information about it somewhere. But I'll be doodled if I know where to find it. I'm looking for a lady who arrived in Port Achu tonight. A lady? I don't get many lady visitors up here, I'm afraid. To tell you the truth, I don't get many visitors at all. So what's the lighthouse good for anyways? Why, all of Port Artu depends on it. It's a proud job I've got. Misting would be impossible without it. And without misting, Port Artu is as doomed as an eel on the cutting board. Misting isn't all that it's good for either. Most trading we do with St. Armando is done by mist as well, through the locks at Pango Kubwa. They'd never find their way back without the lighthouse. What's Pango Kubwa? That's where the locks are, for traversing up and down from St. Armando. Anything that goes between the two has to cross Pango Kubwa. Unless you fly, of course. <laughs> but nobody's that mad. Of course, we used to have the trains as well. Uh, but the powers that be keep shutting them down for reasons best unasked about. The ships are just about a person's only hope to get in and out of Port Artu these days. Without them, we'd be trapped like pudes in a bucket. <laughs> What's up with the trains? Oh, they're off limits to the public now, son. Only high government officials use them these days. Why they're requiring enforcing all these regulations and blocking everything off is a mystery to me, son. I figure the less I know about it, the better. What's being blocked off? Well, it's the Dangles now. But Port Artu used to be an open port. People were coming and going as they pleased. By ship, plane, and train. Back then, you didn't need permits to travel up and down. A fellow was free to go exploring all they liked. It's like they're trying to hide something, don't you reckon? Okay, see you later. Oh, well, thanks for the chat. Feel free to stay around for a while and warm yourself from the fire. It's a pair of bolt cutters. I bet I could have a lot of fun with those. Go ahead and grab them, son. They're useless to me. My toenails are big, but not that big. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, it's a little miniature ship. How did you build all those tiny little details? Oh, that was easy. Rounding up the crew was the hard part. <laughs> That there is a model of the old Mistraker. The Mistraker? Tis an old sailor's tale. The legend of the old Mistraker. She was a proud vessel. Could bend the mightiest eels to her will. The captain of the ship was as mad as they come. 
He was out to catch the biggest eels of them all. The Hungries. What happened to it? The Hungries tore the crew to shreds and left nothing but a ghost ship drifting in the fog. Legend has it if you lay your eyes on the Mistraker, don't let her out of your sights. The moment you turn your back on her, she'll be gone. And your life with it. And their model is supposed to bring me luck, but it sure hasn't paid off so far. <laughs> you can have it if you want it. It will make a nice souvenir. Wow, really? Coolness! Funky place. Can I come inside? You, inside Club Timber? I don't think so, kid. What's so special about Club Timber? Club Timber is the classiest night spot in the whole city. We've got all of Port Arthur's stars, champagne, and gold holed up in here. And if you think I'm letting your raggedy ass inside, you're thicker than you look. Use your telephone, please. Get your own damn phone. This one is for Club Timber Management only. Nice lights you got here. Keep your hands off the floodlights, kid, or I'ma break your fingers off. Later. Man, that's not gonna work. Looks like an electric junction box. I can't get it open. Your lamp looks kinda busted. And what part of that is any of your business? Maybe I can help. I'm a, a lamp repair expert. I ain't heard nothing about no repair, man. Now beat it. Later. It's a matchbook from Club Temba. It's got a phone number on it. Six three four zero zero zero. How may I be of service? Hi, uh, uh, <clears throat> this is management. I mean, uh, this is management speaking. Yes? I'm calling about the broken lamp. The lamp? What about it? We're sending a guy over to fix it. Please make sure he is allowed on the premises. Uh, unharmed. All right, no problem, sir. That went so smooth. I'm here to repair the lamp. You. You're the repairman. All right, just get on with it. <laughs> what a wins the match. That's just nonsense, Joe. I don't drink to escape my problems. I escape my problems to go drinking. Right, Gimbo? Hi, Captain. Whatever you say. What's up, sailors? Hey, good to see you again. Aye, we thought Barlow had you locked up for good, Warner. Ha! Bad chance. 
This Rasta is way too clever for Babylon oppressors. How you guys doing? Feels good having solid ground under one's feet again. I can tell you that. Amen to that, mate. Oh, the mist scares the life out of me. Ah, I've seen jellyfish with more backbone than you lot. I'm looking for Lena. Have you seen her? She your special lady? Well, Buona, I had to break it to you, man, but it seems like she and Police Chief Balo have got something special going on. What you talking about? I saw them both strolling to that big posh place on Main Street, Club Timber. She was clinging to him like she was hot struck, walking on sunshine. <laughs> Sounds to me like you've been played for a fool, son. But are you fellas talking about that tall, good-looking lady from out of town who's just strolling down Main Street? If you don't mind me saying so, she's out of your league, sir. Besides, if she's clinging to Barlow, you're better off without her. That's the truth. You try and take something away from Barlow, Barlow takes something away from you in a very bad way. I'm not afraid of no police. I could shake them off once. I can shake them off again. I got to get into Club Demba. What you guys know about Club Timber? You really want to get in there, huh? Well, you're going to have a hard time. You need to be filthy rich and well-connected to get access to that joint. It's not for the people. That place is for the corrupt fat cats and untouchable high society. I'm pretty sure you can forget getting in there, Buona. You're a good man, Buona. The place is down with the decent folk. Tell me more about Police Chief Barlow. He's been in charge around here for, what, probably 20 years or so. Can't say I've got anything personal against him, but like all people with power, he tends to misuse it. He likes to crack down real hard on people he doesn't agree with. And he's certainly up to a whole lot more than just policing the city. Yes. I'm willing to bet he's tangled up in all sorts of shady doings. Police Chief Barlow is just as corrupt as the rest of the cream of the crop. I swear it. Not a single honest man holds a seat of power in this godforsaken town. And the weight of the burden always lies on us misters. Nice joint, this. You kidding me? This place is the cesspool at the end of the sewer. We all flow along the gutters of these streets, drip and drizzle in our own directions. But in the end, like the soggy pieces of street trash that we are, we end up here. Wet, cold, torn apart, and stepped upon, face down in the mud. Man, that was beautiful. We should have that engraved and put on the wall. Tell me about misters. We're the little folks. We're the ones who actually do the real work around here. We're just simple folk caught in the crossfire. We come here to get out of the rain and drink ourselves piss drunk before we head out, come back, and then do it all over again. Misters are the kind of people that wind up in a dump like this. People with money don't come here. People with connections don't come here. We're small people. To the big shots in town, we're worth less than the blood-stained dirt under their boots. A bunch of corrupt hoodlums, that's what they are. So when you guys heading back out? Well, we can't right now, or we probably would. As long as the lighthouse bust, we are stuck in port. And frankly, I'm not really in a hurry to get back out there. Sure, we gotta make a living. But a short break is well deserved, ain't it, Gimbo? It sure is. That lighthouse can stay broken for all I care. Oh, stone the crows, mate. I'm starting to get fed up to the back teeth of catching eel. What happens to the eel? Most of it's sold off to upbound ships. Some stays down here for refining. You can make all sorts of stuff out of eel. Steaks, liquor, plastics, medicines. They're pretty strange creatures, come to think of it. You guys ever go to St. Armando? Ah, no way. We haven't got the right permits. And even if we did, the Beko can't handle the locks. She runs too deep. Oh, I'd love to go someday, though. Get out of this bloody soup once and for all. 
What are the locks? Aye, the locks at Pango Kubwa that lead up to St. Armando. You got special ships going through there. Eel trawlers can't go through them. They just aren't built for it. We're doomed to be stuck down here forever. Might as well just deal with it, I guess. See you guys later. Well, if it ain't a new guy in town, welcome to our fine establishment, where the drinks are divine and the clientele <laughs> are a slice of heaven itself. Flattering, Arnie. Very flattering. Now, what can I get you, sir? I hope you're not looking for eel rinse. I'm all out. You've got my word, however. The moment the lighthouse starts again, I'll be out through that door in a split second to secure a couple of crates once the shipments start coming in. Any idea how I could get into Club Timber? Listen, sir. All I do is pour them their drinks. I don't ever go up there. You pour their drinks? What do you think this here service shaft is for? They keep sending me orders, and I keep sending up drinks. Club Timber sits right on top of this joint. Now, I don't service all of Club Timber, mind you. Just a VIP lounge up top. Now, I'm not proud to be part of their business. <laughs> but a man's gotta make a living, though. So the service shaft leads right up to the VIP room. Uh-huh. Bingo. What you know about Barlow? Ah, Barlow. I hear a lot of talk about him on both sides of the fence. A bartender gets to hear all sides of the story, you know? The law weighs down on that man more than most people think. He has made a lot of enemies in this town, I know that much. I'm used to hearing a lot about people's woes. I can tell you, many of those woes are about run-ins with the law. And the law in this town is Barlow. Busy night? Eh, uh, afraid not, sir. Business has been real slow ever since the last went out. Yeah, these fellas are the first customers I've had all day. All city's gone to a standstill with no misters in port. These parts of the city used to be a good racket this hour. It's a real drag seeing her all dead like this. What you got on top? Right now, I'm down at the lower end of nothing. Taps and shelves are all sucked clean. I normally carry the full range of Mr. Poisons here, except mist fumes, of course. But without the shipments coming in, I've got nothing. What are mist fumes? That's some bad stuff, sir. It's a byproduct. Comes out of the distill and the bill rinse. I tell you, you get all sorts of whackball effects taking that stuff. We call them fume heads, them fellas who suck it down. Used to be a much bigger problem, though. Barlow cleaned up the worst of the fume head trash when he came into power. I want eel rinse. I'm sorry, sir. I've gone dry during the big blackout. Shipments aren't coming in the way it's supposed to, not the lighthouse is out. Once it starts working again, I'll run off and buy a whole new crate of it. You have my word, sir. I got to hit the streets. Give him hell, sir. Hey, it's a big shop, St. Armando. Yeah, it's an old, outdated old man. People like to dream themselves away with pretty pictures, you know? It's been hanging there forever. You can have it if you want. Thanks, man. I love free stuff. Hey, can I play with the radio? Eh, yeah, go ahead and change the station all you like. You know that there's an old Army Broadway radio? It can pick up all sorts of things. It's pretty good to have in handy when the coppers are around doing raids and such. Beautiful. Hey, Morton, I fixed your lantern, man. Why, that's some golly great news, Buana. 
Now, if only I could get a hold of some blueprints, we'd have the lighthouse spinning again as well. One bowl of smoking hot lobster soup coming right up. Voila! Hey, it actually smells pretty good. Hey, look what Master Chef Buana cooked you! Oh, golly, Buana! That smells delicious. Can I have it? Is it for me? It's all yours, man. If I can borrow the book. Oh, Ketan, can he have the book? Please? My well, love depends on it, I swear. Go ahead, Buana. We've got plenty more of those. I have a feeling you're going to need it. Oh, thanks, guys! Hey, what do you make of this, man? Well, son, I'll be a crimp in a casket. This is exactly what I need. Oh, golly, I almost had it right all along. I just need to swap the shifter with the main cog and switch on the doohickey over there, will ya? I can't believe it! All Faithful is up and spinning again! Thank you so much for your help, Buana. No problem, man. Many a mister will finally be able to make their way back into port. Perhaps now the town of Port Artu can finally return back to normal. Lighthouse working again, all of the other misters will be busy getting back into port. Now's our chance to head on out and reel in a couple of the big ones. Everyone else is gonna be busy getting drunk here in Port R2, and the miss will be all ours. Empty for the picking. That's not a bad plan, Captain. Now's our chance to strike it, big lads. Are you with me? Aye! And you, Gimbo? Oi. I'd rather not, actually. The mist. Oh, I've had enough of it. Oh, it scares me to the bones, it does. You're the biggest sissy I've ever met, Gimbo. But I need you. You're a good sissy. Yeah, come on, Gimbo. This is our big chance. I'll bring lots of food. Lots and lots of food. I'll even make sure we bring some of that horrible pudding you like so much. <laughs> pudding? You promise there'll be pudding? Lots of it. Promise. Oh, all right then. Can't go wrong with pudding. Well, that settles it. We'll raise anchor tonight. Next round's on me. Juana, what are you doing? Hey, you're going after Lena, aren't you? You mess with Barlow's belongings, and you're gonna get hurt, boy. No worries, guys. I'm all over this. Good luck with your next catch. Good luck with yours. And Buana. Yeah? Thanks for helping us out.
Come on, Angel. Don't tell me you just stumbled across a book doing research for the university. I used to know Ken Ardodo a long time ago. He wouldn't leave the journal for the journey down for you to find for some school project. Well, the book isn't mine to give you anyhow. Now don't you worry that pretty girl head about the Underland Angel. The Underland is no business for an Ascal like yourself. I never asked for your advice on the matter. Just give me back my book and you'll see that I'm quite capable of handling my business without you meddling. Oh, I bet you are. But I'll tell you this much, kid. You're not as smart as you think you are. We had our eyes on you and your castaway crew before you even set foot in Port Achu. And the police aren't the only ones on your trail. You're in a bad place on a bad track, Angel. Turn back. There are enough would-be adventurers rotting in the mist as it is. Oh, and you wouldn't have anything to do with that, would you? Don't give me that jive, you cutthroat. If it earned you a nickel, you wouldn't think twice about adding another dead body to your list. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I prefer your body right where I have it. <gasps> Easy now, Angel. I'm just giving you fair advice. You better forget you heard about the Underland real quick, or else you'll be sleeping with the eels before dawn. What the? Buana, what are you doing here? Uh, I, I, I'm here to rescue you, lady. The lady's free to leave whenever she pleases. You, however, are not as fortunate. No, please, don't hurt him. W what's going on here? Yeah, it's Barlow. I caught a little bug snooping around the penthouse suite. I need him taken care of. No, wait! He's Kaunan Dodo's son. He's what? No, never mind. Just show him to the door and make sure he stays out. Hey, how do you know Kaunan Dodo? Hey, what the? Let me go, you, you, you mother go Ow! Let go and don't pull my hair like that, my girl. Oh, no, no! And so the mighty elephant, the tall giraffe, and the tricky monkey became friends again. And soon, all of the fantastic creatures of the Underland were living in peace. Oh, can we go to the Underland? Can we please, please, please? <laughs> Going to the Underland is not that easy, Buana. Aww. One day, when you are old enough, have to learn that some monsters are more real than others. One day, Buana, you will have to learn the truth. True, 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 true. Chasing after Lino wasn't such a bright idea after all. <laughs> that Balo guy must be up to some bad stuff. I wonder how he's connected to my father. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Someone in this city must know what happened to Kaunan Dodo. Hey, man. Well, look who's awake. Catching up on your beauty sleep in the dumpster? Yeah, um, I'm having a bit of a rough night. Rough night? Ha! Let me guess. High rolling in club timber on champagne and stardust, and tossed out the back door as soon as your credit dried up? Blubbering land crab. Well, look who's back. The night in shining on. You rescued your princess yet? I tried, uh, but I wound it up in a dumpster with nothing but a beaten and a bad headache. That woman is mixed up in some real bad stuff. So you ain't gonna help her no more? I'm pretty sure she won't be needing my help. I'm done chasing after her. I've got a new lead now. <laughs> like getting drunk? That's usually what a fella does around here after he gives up on a lady. No, 
I got a lead on my old man. He disappeared a couple years ago up in St. Armando. Haven't heard a word from him since. But now I know he's been true here. Someone here in Port Hachu has got to know where he went. What's his name? Kaunan Dodo. He was a pilot. A big, hard, long dreads, Nazi Rasta. Well, that name rings a bell, but I have no idea where I've heard it. Wasn't recently. I know that much. You might want to try asking around town. Will do. Well, well, well. Look who's back. Oh, hi, lady. You look a mess. What happened? I had some bad luck. <laughs> I got thrown out of Club Temba. With your manners, I'm not surprised. Well, don't just stand out there in the rain. You'll catch a cold. Oh, what is this place? This is the mayor's office. You're the mayor of Port Achu? <laughs> no, silly. I am his secretary. I manage his appointments, meetings, and weekly schedules. <sighs> I take his calls, mail his letters, file his documents, run his errands, and sort his cigars. Cool! <sighs> This job is a real drag, and the pay is lousy. Honestly, I just want to get out of this place. I wish I was up in St. Armando. Now that is a city with a heart and a soul. So what is your name, mystery man? I'm Andiswa, but my friends call me Andy. I'm Buana. Pleasure meeting you, Buana. I would socialize, but I've got a ton of work left to do tonight. Hey, I know that place. It's Morton's lighthouse. Yeah, it is a good thing someone finally fixed it. When the lighthouse was sabotaged, the whole city just kind of stopped. It was beginning to make everyone here kind of creeped out. That's the train station. Yes, it connects Port Artu to St. Amando. There used to be rails going downwards too, but they are all out of service now. The harbor. That's where we first arrived with the Biko. It's Club Temba. Smack dab on Main Street. <laughs> yeah. All of Port R2 sort of revolves around that joint. That is where all the money is. So, that is where everyone wants to be. Looks like some kind of harbor maintenance thing. Oh, that is the McFerrin Eel Rinse Distillery. It used to be a source of a lot of pride here in Port R2 before it was shut down. Now all Il Rinz is distilled up in St. Armando. May I lost the contract to them, as usual. Ah, that's too bad for him. For him? No way. He probably got a nice fat bonus. <laughs> it is too bad for Port R2. We lose jobs and money for every new stupid deal he signs. It's a cemetery, I think. Yes. That cemetery is where we will all end up someday, I guess. Gosh, how depressing is that? Get born here in the dark, live here in the dark, and then die and forever rest here in the dark. It just reminds me of how much I want to get out of here. It's a cross. That is the Port Artu Hospital. It has got pretty decent service, actually, if you can afford it. Rich folks go there. But most other folks just suck it up. What's this weird thing? Oh, that is Enola's House of Butterflies. It is pretty much the only point of light in this depressing town. What's a House of Butterflies? She does butterfly therapy there. It is amazing stuff. Can bring you right out of that gloomy Port Artu mood in just a couple of minutes. Come to think of it, it's pretty similar to that horrible booze the misters are always drinking. Except you miss out on the hangover, of course. <laughs> and it's no good for passing out, either. I guess that's why the misters prefer the bottle. 
It's the jail. I'm just gonna stay as far away from that place as possible, I think. That sounds like a very good plan, Buana. It's some kind of factory area, I think. That's right. That is where you will find most of Port Artu's industries. The old mines, power plants, the iron works, those kinds of things. How's it going, old timer? It's not going anywhere, I'm afraid. Rather stationary indeed. Ever heard of someone named Kaunan Dodo? Kaunan Dodo? Haven't heard that name in a long, long time. A pilot, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, that's him! Last I saw him, he was working for Barlow. Those two were up to some really shady business, I'll tell you. And Dodo worked for Balo? That can't be right. Quite so. And I'll tell you what else. The two of them led an expedition down to the Underland. The Underland? Oh, yes. Few people remember this nowadays. But back then, there were no laws stopping adventurers from trying their luck down there. The expedition was one of the few ventures ever to make it back. What happened to Kaunan Dodo? All I know is that the captain left Port Archu in a hurry. I saw his plane fly off into the mist one morning, and I never saw it again. Some people said he flew back down to the Underland. Others said he left to start a new life in St. Armando. Tell me about the expedition. I can't tell you that much, son. The whole thing was done in secret, you see. But I've worked the lighthouse for over 40 years now. And no vessel comes or leaves port unnoticed by me. I remember seeing them take off in a twin-engine propeller plane. One of those pontoon planes that can land on water, you, you know. That must be Kaunan Dodo's plane! Well, it was a real beauty, wherever it was from. But when it returned from the Underland a few weeks later, one could tell it had been through some real rough travails. Poor thing barely made it back. Did they bring anything back from the Underland? Rumors said it was loaded with a ton of gold and diamonds when it came back. I wouldn't make much of those rumors, though. Sadly, we'll never know for sure what secrets they uncovered in the Underland. Why not? Soon after the expedition returned to Port Artu, Barlow became the chief of police. And on the same day, the official report about the expedition was made classified. What report? The police suspected the expedition was involved in some kind of dirty business. But the final police report was never revealed to the public. And I'm afraid the secrets were buried together with that police report. Buried or not, I'm going to find out the truth about that expedition. Well, good luck, son. Won't be easy getting your hands on that police report. Any idea where I could find that police report? Afraid not, son. You'd have to get real chum-friendly with the powers that be to get hold of that kind of information. Government reports aren't exactly public information around these parts. Nice broadcaster you got up there. Sure is, son. Got a little bit of an extra income spinning tunes and commercials from up there. Landed me a brand new used mattress from Lonnie's it did. It's practically stain free. I'd let you have a lie down, but it's still a little moist. This here lighthouse is pretty much the ideal radio tower. I can fill just about any frequency from up here. I've got the best broadcasting point in all of Port Artu. Well, except the clock tower, of course. But that thing has been out of commission as far back as I can remember. What's with the clock tower? Oh, it's just kaput, and the mayor won't pay to fix it, that's all. I haven't heard those bells tolling for many, many years. Guess it isn't a top priority for the mayor to get it running again. He's too busy spending the city's money down on Main Street to have time with those kinds of things. <laughs> Tell me about the mayor. Oh, 
he's just another corrupt cog in the machinery of big government. Just another one of the puppets being played by the folks of Topside in St. Armando. Okay, see you later. All right, you take care now. Thanks for letting me in from the rain. Don't mention it. Have you heard of someone called Kaunandodo? Kaunandodo? That's a funny name. He's my father. He disappeared from St. Armando years ago. Disappeared? Without a trace. Now I'm trying to find out the truth about what happened to him. I think the answers are here somewhere in Port Achu. Wow. What a mystery. I will keep my eyes and ears open. You know anything about an expedition to the Underland? To the Underland? I am pretty sure going anywhere below Port Artu is illegal. This was a long time ago, before it was illegal. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Besides, who would ever want to go farther down into the mist? So, uh, what do you do for fun around here? Fun? The only people who get to have fun here in Port Artu are the rich folks. I bet they're having a ball over at Club Temba. Oh, why don't you walk on over there? I bet your boss could help you inside. I bet he could. And I bet he won't. I don't want to hang out with those people anyway. They're a bunch of jacks. All of them. Port Artu is a dead end for me, Buana. I want to go to the big city. To St. Armando. That is where it happens. Oh, I just can't stop dreaming about that place. I used to have a big, beautiful St. Armando poster here on the wall. But my boss had me take it down. I just could not stop staring at it. I was saving up for train tickets to get up there. But now that the trains are all shut down, it's just a dream, I guess. Later, Andy. See you around. Hey, check this out. What's this? Wow, these pictures are amazing. I could just dream myself off to St. Armando on one of those ships right now. Wow. Hey, Andy, mind if I use the computer? Go ahead. What do I care if I get fired? I just want to get out of here. Knock yourself out. Awesome! Thanks, Andy. Hey, what's this? Evidence of high-level corruption in connection with illegal underland expedition! I bet this report is the key to finding out more about Barlow and Kaunanduro's expedition! Wow, the plot thickens, huh? Looks like you're onto something. Yeah, I think this file might just help me find out what happened to my father! Oh, but Buana, the file is classified. That means it has been removed from the Town Hall archives. There's no way I can get it for you. Oh. Hmm. It says it was written by the old chief of police, Leroy Makibo. That is probably your best lead. If you find him, I bet you will find the file. Wow. You're real smart, Andy. I have my moments. I gotta find this Makigbo guy.
Hello, madam. My name is Buana. I'm trying to reach uh, Leroy McKigbo. Is this the right number? Yes. Sweet! I'm calling about a police report he wrote a long time ago. It's about the Underland. A police report? Yeah, lady. Uh, can I talk to him, please? Uh, talk to him? If you want to talk to him, you should rather call a psychic. My dear Leroy disappeared over ten years ago. So did my father, Count Andodo. I believe there's some sort of connection between your husband and my father. Do you know if anyone wanted to see Leroy disappear? Leroy used to be the police chief here in Port Hachu, and he had many enemies. He was a diligent and honest man, always working late down at the station to keep the gangsters at bay. But then one night, he didn't return home from work. Did Leroy ever talk about an expedition to the Underland? Well, now that you mention it, he did say he was writing a report about some sort of expedition just before he disappeared. I don't know what it was about, but I remember he said he had uncovered some sort of conspiracy. You think he might have left a copy of the report at home? Oh, I don't know, dear. I never looked through his work things. The police and the power company cleared out his study soon after Leroy disappeared. The power company? Yes, there was some gentleman here from the Armando Power Company to help with the investigation. Whatever they found, they must have taken with them to their office on Chanel Road. Hold on a minute. The power company has an office here in Port Achu? Oh, I don't know, dear. The office is probably closed now that most business has moved up to St. Armando. This all happened a long time ago. I doubt I can be of much help to you now. Oh no, you've been very helpful, Miss McKigbo. Thank you so much. Oh, not at all, dear. Good night. So the power company has an office right here in Port Archu. I bet that's where they hid the missing police report. I've got to get to Chanel Road. Fancy car! Whoever owns this ride has got to be filthy rich. It probably belongs to someone in Club Timber. Hey, can you believe this? I do this job job for chum change day after day, and Hustler Mac sell me a bus tie. Good for nothing but a trip around the block. When he laid his racket, it sure sound clean, but now I know who's the fool. He played me cut rate, and that ain't cool. I'ma owe Hustler Mac a slap in the face for that chum deal. Uh... Name's Rod Reynolds. That's R for real. Hey man, can you take me to Chanel Road? No go, amigo. My ride's stranded here until I get my hands on a new tire. Do you know anything about expeditions to the Underland? Ha! The Underland? I thought all suckers knew that's just a bunch of fairy dust. I keep it real, you know? Real on the streets. Can you dig it? Do you know someone named McKigbo? Ha! That's a funny name if I ever heard one. Sorry, Jack. Never heard it before. I'll see you around. Stay on top, Jack. In Port Archu, you gotta be street smart and steal hard. Remember that. There's a sign on the ticket boot. It says, tickets for tonight's show will be available shortly. What this little vent does. <laughs> Oops. something to inflate it with. Hmm. 
Hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm uh, just testing the smoke detector. Uh, come on, turn it off. Uh... Just push the button on the side, will you? Thanks. Whoa, rubber boat engineering rules! If you could afford buying a car with fancy wheels like these, then you can afford losing one. Check this out. Right on, brother. I owe you big. Can I take you somewhere? It's on the house. I'm trying to get to a place called Chanel Road. No problem, Jack. We'll be there in a tick. Hide your mamas. Ride Reynolds is back in the game. That's all for Ride. Ride Reynolds. Next stop, Chanel Road. Chanel Road. Man, this place looks deserted. I hate to break it to you, Mr. Padlock, but we're going to have to amputate. It's really dark in here, man. I can't see a thing. like some kind of power box. wanted to do that. Mm. 
wind up having to walk over scary high things. All right, Buana. You can do it. Just close your eyes and everything will be all right. State your business or get out of my town. That's funny. You act as if I don't own you. You know why I'm here. Where's the book? It's in the safe. And the woman and those two buffoons I had you lock up? They got away. You let them get away? I'm going to find them, even if I have to tear your horrible town apart, brick by brick. Deploy the troops. You can't do this! You insolent little maggot! Did you really think I'd let you take control of Port Archer? You were nothing but a puppet. Now stay out of my way, or you'll end up like Maka Buona? What are you doing here? You! You backstabbing woman! What were you doing with that policeman, Barlow? I wasn't backstabbing you, you nut! I was trying to talk my way back to the book, and I was this close to getting my hands on it when you blundered in there and blew my whole operation. I was going to come help you out of jail as soon as I'd secured the book. I still need you, and your airplane, Buona. Oh. But I thought... Well, it doesn't matter now anyways. The book is securely locked up in Club Temba, and we're going to have to try a different approach to get it back. I've been trying to dig up some dirt on this Barlow guy, and I'm pretty confident this is where we'll find it. You talking about that missing police report, right? Sounds like you've done your homework, Buana. I'm impressed. Yes, the missing file is bound to be hidden away here somewhere. Once we find that file, you'll be one step closer to finding out what happened to Count and Dodo. And I'll be one step closer to getting the book back and finding out the truth behind this whole cover-up. What were you doing with Barlow anyways? I told you, I was trying to talk him into giving me the book back. The Underland seems to be a touchy subject for him. He's clearly covering something up, big time. What's in the missing file? I don't really know. All I know is that since the power company is covering it up, it's bound to contain something that they don't want us to know about. I'm hoping it's going to contain some kind of dirt on Barlow, so we can squeeze him into giving the book back. You know anything about this Makigbo guy? Well, he used to be chief of police here in Port Artu. He wrote the missing report we're looking for. Why he suddenly disappeared or where he went, I have no idea. Okay, let's find that police report. All right. You start looking through the shelves, and I'll try the computer. Only old bookkeeping in this drawer. It's a bunch of documents about the early days of the Armando Power Company. Seems like the Armando Power Company originally was a mining company. It says here they wanted to expand their operation further down into the mist, all the way down to the Underland. It only makes sense that they wanted to do more mining and earn more money. That's what companies do. But in the Underland? And that place is just fairy tales. Besides, it wasn't allowed, was it? You've got to remember that back then, diving down through the mist wasn't illegal. Anyone could try their luck. 
but none of those tries ever yielded anything. None of them ever came back dead or alive. I guess the fairy tales were amazing enough to make people risk their lives again and again. Their failed attempts to reach the Underland are very interesting, but it's not the information we're looking for. We want to know what's going on down there now. We've got to find that missing police report. Nah, nothing of interest in there. Only old bookkeeping in this drawer. Hey, here's a newspaper cutout from the day Balo and Count and Dodo returned from the expedition. You mean the article from the Daily Post? Yeah. I saw that. Apparently, Barlow and Count and Dodo's expedition was the first one to ever make it back alive from the Underland. An extraordinary feat that many claim to be completely bogus since they didn't have a single shred of proof to show for it. Except for a battered old book with sketches and drawings in it that the captain had written along the way. Guess which book that is? Hey, we know that book. It's the Journal of the Journey Down! That's right. In the article, Barlow claimed that they had found some kind of strange new power source in the Underland, and was eager to set up research and tap into this new amazing power. But Count and Dodo apparently refused to take part of the interview altogether. That's strange. I wonder why Count and Dodo didn't want to talk about it. More importantly, what was it Count and Dodo didn't want to talk about? And how did the Armando Power Company get involved in all this? That's when things really start to get interesting. This one's empty. Only old bookkeeping in this drawer. Ah, here we go. A file about the setting up of the big power company expedition. Really? Let me see that. Upon Barlow and Count and Dodo's return from their expedition, the Armando Power Company quickly seized the opportunity and hired Barlow as a guide for their own operation. The investment was massive. It seems the power company spent its every penny on setting up the biggest, most well-prepared venture to the Underland known to man. The only thing they couldn't buy was Count and Dodo. What? Why not? He refused. Apparently, Count and Dodo was actually jailed for refusing to join the operation and later disappeared to no one knows where. Well, we know where he wound up. He wound up in Kingsport Bay and adopted me and Kito. But where did he go when he left us? This document is older than that. It doesn't say. Maybe the Armando Power Company caught up with him. I don't know. Caught up with him? You mean... I don't know, Buana. We're getting more questions here than answers. We need to find that missing police report. Nah, nothing of interest in there. Only old bookkeeping in this drawer. There's boring paperwork in there. Nah, nothing of interest in there. Hey, Buona. Yeah? Check this out. Whoa! It's a safe. Buona, do you know how to pick a lock? Just stand back, lady. I got the situation under control. <laughs> nice try, Buona. Looks like we're going to have to figure out the code for this combination lock. I messed that panel up pretty bad, huh? It's all right. The buttons are still working. Got it! This document explains everything. Mikipo details high-level corruption in Port R2 and writes about the power company threatening to silence anyone who stands in their way. Even Police Chief McEbo himself. That explains McEbo's mysterious disappearance and the following replacement by Barlow. You mean McEbo was murdered by the power company? Exactly. Barlow covered his tracks well, but now we found his dirty secret. Will you follow? On it. Ah! Ah! They're going to knock us right off the bridge. Ah! Ah!
Madam Sesulu. Finally, I caught you. Let us go, you thieves. <laughs> Where's the book? Eh? Ha! You'll never lay your filthy hands on the Journal of the Journey Down. Barlow has got it locked up in the Club Temba safe. <laughs> Feeble safe is no match for us pirates. Gentlemen! We are breaking in tonight! All right, you two. You can get out now. Thanks for the ride, man. You're lucky Madam Sisulu still has plans for you. Plans? What plans? Madame Sisulu knows everything about your research at the Agibo University. After we make our little visit to Club Demba tonight, you're going to help us use the journal. And what makes you think we'd help you? You pirates are nothing more than looters and grave robbers. But you do want to see the Underland, don't you? It's your dream, isn't it? Then you're gonna have to play by the Madame's rules. Now keep your mouths closed and stay out of our way. Come on, Buona. Let's get out of here before the police show up. Mighty Mudjagla, this place is guarded like a fort. Looks like the power company has taken over the whole place. I bet they're here for the book. It's right up there in the safe. Where? Behind the big elephant head? No, it's inside the head. The vault door leads into the VIP room. I've seen it up close. And tonight, the pirates are gonna break in there and steal the book. Not if we do it fast. But that's impossible. How are we ever going to get inside? Come here, I'll show you. It's the back door to Club Temba. You think we can get in this way? I'm not sure. It looks robust. Give me a minute to work my magic. I might be able to break it open. All right. I'll go search for Keto on the airplane. Good idea. Yo! What can I help you with, sir? What's the latest gossip? A lot of talk going on in town about those power company goons stationed out all over the place. They pretty much done a takeover of the whole city, it seems. They're clearly on the hunt for something, and I'll be damned if I know what. What you know about the Armando Power Company? Frankly, it's a drag seeing them back in town again. Yeah, see, they was here about 20 years ago. Locked up the whole town. Just like they gone done today. I don't know what those fellas are up to, but it ain't nothing pretty. I can tell that much. They used to have offices down here in Port Archu, you know. I thought we'd gotten rid of them. I sort of hoped the scum would stay up top in St. Armando. I guess not. The sooner they leave, the better, I say. I want eel rinse. Sure thing. It's five bucks a bottle. Man, I don't have any cash. Uh, can you put it on my tab or something? Well, I'm sorry, sir. No cash, no drinks. I got to hit the streets. Give them hell, sir. Hey, sailor. Oh, hello there. What you sobbing for? <laughs> Nothing. It's it's complicated, all right? Yeah. Poor fellow always comes in here singing the blues. Ain't nothing but a little bit of heartbreak. We get a lot of that in here, you see. Ah, I get it. Who's the girl? It's Andiswa, the girl working over at the mayor's office. I got the biggest crush on her. Oh, I know Andy, man. Oh, she's a sweet girl. The sweetest girl in all the ports I ever dropped anchor. What's the problem? She don't love you back? No, I mean, I don't know. I haven't actually told her about my feelings yet. I'm too nervous to even say hi to her. Come on, just go tell her that you like her. I'm sure she'll be super flattered. Oh, <laughs> I wish I could just do that. But to tell you the truth, I don't know the first thing about girls. Ah, don't worry, man. Here's some free advice from Dr. Buana, certified love expert. For starters, why don't you ask her out? Watch a movie or something. I guess, I, I guess I could do that, but I only got this one movie. And somehow, I don't think it's appropriate for a first date. 
I was thinking more you could take her to the cinema. Oh, that's a great idea. But I don't have any money to buy tickets. The Sasulis left the entire crew penniless. Okay, just leave that to Buana. I'll find a way to set you two lovebirds up. Oh, if only there was a way. <laughs> What's the video? Oh, this thing. Yeah, it's a romantic action movie, kind of. Cool. Tell you what, if you manage to get me movie tickets tonight, the video is yours. Wow, really? Sure thing. Least I can do. Awesome. What do you know about the Armando Power Company? I'd never seen them before. Then, all of a sudden, they're all over town. You kind of get the feeling something big is going on, don't you? Catch you later. Bye. <laughs> Hey, man, what you up to? Ah, kid, you're in over your head. We're gonna light up this joint, and you don't want to be caught in the crossfire. What are you guys doing in there? Let's just say we're preparing a little surprise for our new friends in Club Temper. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. I'm almost done with work for tonight. Just finishing up the last paperwork. Then I am free. Ah, free to go home and sleep, I guess. There's never any fun for me in this dead-end town. What's the matter? I just wish someone would ask me out for a change. That's all. Hey, don't worry, Andy. I'm sure Mr. Wright will come along any day now. Who knows? Maybe tonight's the night. Can you tell me about the Armando Power Company? Ah, don't get me started on those thieves. Our mayor is selling out the whole city thanks to them. What do you mean? He is a complete sellout puppet, just like the chief of police. When orders come from topside, it is usually from those power company crooks. And our beloved Port R2 officials happily follow their every whim. Anything to stay in the limelight and bask in luxury, I guess. How come these crooked guys get to stay in office? Why don't people throw them out? You kidding me? The people? <laughs> Trust me on this, Buena. If the folks up in St. Armando want to keep our current mayor and chief of police in power, they will. Later, Andy. See you around. Greetings, sir. Welcome to Cinema Rex. What movies do you have? This week we are screening three magnificent films for true cinema enthusiasts. First, we have Vegetable Thieves. It's a real heartbreaker. Then, there's Baron's Gold, a thrilling tale of true adventure. And tonight, we are showing The Hot Heat. <laughs> a real classic. Tell me about Vegetable Thieves. Oh, now that's a real heartbreaker. If you like real drama, that's the movie for you. Personally, I broke down in tears. It's a very sad story but a beautifully told one nonetheless. Two tickets, please. <laughs> Certainly, sir. That will be $10. Special offer tonight. Right. Uh, maybe I can pay you later. I'm sort of low on money right now. <laughs> uh, sorry, sir, but that's not how this business works. What's new in town? Haven't you noticed all the security forces patrolling the streets tonight? Word on the streets says they have taken over the entire police department and that some big shot from St. Armando has replaced Police Chief Palo. Take my warning and stay clear from those guys. They are not friendly people. Catch you later. Enjoy your evening, sir. What are you guys up to? We're waiting for the movie to begin. I haven't seen a real romance in ages. Wow, a popcorn machine! 
always wanted to have one of those. Oh, my apologies, but we are out of popcorn tonight. The pirates seized our last shipment and now all of my customers are left hungry. Oh, man. I really wish I had some popcorn for you, but I'm afraid there's really nothing I can do. Who you think you're fooling, Mo? We're never gonna be able to push this produce. Only reason the Sisulus didn't grab it is because it's dried up and halfway rotten. Shut up, Vince. Someone's coming. Hey, kid. Wanna buy some corn? It's, uh, prime stuff, straight from the farm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, prime corn. Fresh from the farm. Fresh from the, uh, cows or whatever. Sorry, guys. I got no money. We could trade. We're big on trading. Yeah, yeah, let's trade. I'd like a big, fat bottle of eel rinse. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be nice. And how about some cigars? It's about time men of our ability get to enjoy the good life. We're men of class, you know. Men of class should be enjoying a classy life. Ain't that right, Vince? That's right, Mo. There you have it, kid. <laughs> Get us some cigars and a bottle of eel rinse, and this beautiful crate of prime corn is all yours. What can you tell me about the Armando Power Company? Them fellas with the guns, you mean? They put a blockade on the whole port. No more work for us here. Guess we better go look somewhere else, eh, Mo? We got nowhere to go, Vince. We got nothing. This port is all we got. How's the fire? It's going strong, kid. Keeping our bones toasty warm through the rough times. I can't believe it's still burning. No, oh, we just followed your example, kid. Those newspaper machines just keep refilling themselves. Talk about renewable energy, eh, Mo? I gotta go. Finally want a nacho? It's an old plunger. I'll stick it in my pants. Buana's rude boy plumbing at your service. Now the bottle is filled to the brim. That's one nasty cocktail. Can I have a couple cigars? I'm really not allowed to give away the mayor's cigars. But I guess he won't notice if there is a few missing. Go ahead. Thanks, Andy.
What you got there? Wow, they're real Senor Muerte cigars. Fancy brand. Good job, kid. Hey, man, look what I got ya. <laughs> well, I'll be damned, kid. That's some fine stuff, too. Ooh. Hey, these aren't fresh. They're all dried up and rotten. Sorry, kid. Deal's a deal. That's right, kid. Gotta honor the deal. I don't know how to thank you. My customers have been screaming for popcorn and I've had none to give them. No worries, man. I just felt like popping some corn. Please, accept these movie tickets as a token of my gratitude. It's the least I can do. Wow, thanks, man. Oh, you'll not be disappointed, sir. This movie is a true classic. Gotcha. Wow, it's two tickets for the short Cinema Rex tonight. Finally, I can ask Andiswa out. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem, oh man. Ain't no love story too wrecked for Dr. Buana to cure. The stud in the mud. One bold man's journey into the swamp of sin. Hey, wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it's a romantic action movie. Kind of. All right, now all I've got to do is work up some courage. I know I can do this. Tonight is the night! You go get her, man. This is Alpha Squadron reporting in. Affirmative. We await your orders on this frequency, sir. I've got to get those guards out of the way somehow. I've got them. They're
They're here on Main Street at local Lonnie's Used Mattress Kingdom. Go over here now and grab them while they're still here. What are you waiting for? Go get them now while the offer stands. It's a bargain. Affirmative, sir. Alpha Squadron moving in to apprehend suspects at local Lonnie's on Main Street. Alpha Squadron, over and out. I've got them. That's a bargain. On an old oil can. Hey, Kito, my man. Hey, Buana. Good to see you again. What you been up to, Mon? Man, I've been through a lot of wacky stuff. This city is full of crooks. <laughs> Guess I fit right in with the prison suit then. You find Lena? Yeah, she's okay. We're gonna break into a safe and snatch the book back. Then we're busting out of Fort Archie. Good plan, Mon. How you doing, Keto? I'm good, Mon. The show beats being seasick or stuck in jail. You know me, Mon. Always happy when I get to tinker with mechanics. Is the plane okay? The plane is in excellent condition, Mon. Awesome! We just need to hoist it out of this junk pile somehow. Hey, maybe you should use that big crane up there or something. I'll go check it out, man. Gotta go. Okay. Going up. Man, I can't see a thing. It's pitch dark in here. I gotta find a way to get some light up here. Keep your paws off the doohickey, lad. These mechanics are so complex, I can't even understand them myself. Hmm, I gotta find a way to distract him. Man, this reel is all rusty. It's been greased up if it's ever gonna work again. Up and ready to roll. Golly gun whales! It's the old mistraker! <laughs> Jiminy criminy, she's beautiful. Look at her plow through the fog, with sky sails almost bursting at the seams. I mustn't let her out of my sights. All right, little plane, come to Papa. Sweet job, Mon. Piece of cake. I'll prepare the airplane for takeoff. This time, we'll have a full tank of gas. Good idea, man. I'll go help Lena break into the club. Good luck, Buona. 
And watch out for those guards, fool. They look pretty mean. Don't you worry, Kito. They won't even notice the book's missing until we're far, far away. Nice break in. <sighs> How are we coming along with the airplane? Tito's got the plane ready for takeoff. Now all we need is the book. Great. I'm almost done hacking through the elevator's altitude algorithm. There. The elevator leads up to the VIP floor. All right. I'm heading up to break into that safe. I'll meet you guys back at the airplane. Good luck. Oh, and Buana, be careful. Those guards mean business. That window there has got to be my way of getting out to the ledge. That camera's gonna be a problem, though. Uh-oh. Looks like we need another key code. Got it! Uh-oh. Hi! Don't mind me. I'm the, uh... The, the plumber. Yeah! Whoa. I guess he didn't hear me come in. Good thing he's got that headset on. General notice to all security personnel. As per orders of the Armando Power Company, security now to focus on safeguarding the VIP room and safe. Stay focused or get fired. Sincerely, the management. Looks like some kind of video storage thing. I think it's for recording and playing back old footage from the security cameras. Hmm, maybe if we record some footage from the hallway and then play it back again, I won't show up on his screen. I've seen them do it in the movies. It can't be that difficult. Hmm. Here, hallway camera. This seems pretty simple. First record. And then press play. Uh... Hey, I guess that did the trick. He seems to have his eyes glued to the movie. Uh oh I hear voices in there. I hope they're not coming out here. Someone is standing guard right next to the door. Oh, man. I can't get the window open. <laughs> ha! No problem for Master Plumber Buana. Time to climb some scary heights, I guess. Here goes. was easy. Uh oh. Hey! What's going on? Open the safe! Hold it! Come back here! He's all at the plane! Hold it right there. Sir, we've caught them in the harbor. Hand over the book. And no one gets shot. Get out of your face. There's more of them coming. Hey, why are you helping us all of a sudden? Is this a trap? Yeah, who's paying you this time, Barlow? What's in it for you? Nothing. There's nothing in this for me. Things used to be so simple back when Ken Andoro was around. 
power company and the money corrupted me. And that corrupts everything. Ken Ondolo was the only one who had the guts to stand up against them. After that, I paid the ultimate price. Now it's my turn to pay. To pay for my greed. I'll hold them off. Take the plane to the Underland and blow the lid off this whole rotten mess. Now go! Go! Buona, we finally reached our destination. Take us down to that beach. We'll do. Underland, here we come. like that for years. Wow, bomber place, man. Buana's here to save the day. Well, look who's awake. I've almost got this puzzle cracked. I'd hate to see you miss the party. What are you up to? Well, I'm trying to get this giant gate open, and I'm pretty sure we're almost through. There's just one bit here that I just don't understand. Once I've got that part figured out, we're going in. If we're going through the gate, why didn't we just fly over it? Oh, trust me, we had good reasons not to. Why? You heard about the Hungries? Sure, some kind of spooky made-up monsters, right? The ones that eat ships? Spooky, yes. Made up? I don't know. According to the legend, they live right on top of a place called the Hatari Reef. Yeah? So? You're looking at it. This wall is the Hatari Reef. Oh. You got me convinced. 
So what's in there? Behind the gate? To tell you the truth, Buana, I really don't know. This book speaks in riddles, and most of it is just sketches and rhymes. And all the information I've ever managed to scrounge up about it, in all my years of research about the Underland, are completely conflicting. Our good friends at the power company have really done everything they can to keep us in the dark. If Count and Dodo were here, maybe he could help us. I have a feeling we're walking in his footsteps. That escape was pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, we made it out of there in the nick of time. Good thing Barlow turned out to be a good man after all. What do you mean, good man? He's mad to the bone, and he almost shot me. He helped us escape, though, didn't he? Yeah, true. Why do you think he was helping us out all of a sudden? It's all in here, in the journal. Count and Dodo essentially kept it as a diary. They were good friends. Whatever this power thing was that they found, Barlow was convinced that they should make use of it. Count and Dodo, on the other hand, insisted that it should remain untouched. The two of them quarreled over it and split up once they returned from the Underland. With the help of the Armando Power Company, Barlow finally got what he wanted. And in the end, it destroyed him. Helping us escape was his final redeeming act. Now, let me ask you a question. Why is the power company chasing after the book in the first place? If they want to hide whatever is going on in the Underland so bad, why didn't they just destroy the book? They... they need it for something. That must be the case. But I have no idea for what. Hopefully we'll find out once we finally get this gate open. Okay, good luck with the gate. Man, that is one big gate. I wonder if Count and Dodo is in there somewhere. It's 10 a.m. now according to the clock. Can't remember the last time I was up this early. Count and Dodo drew these doodles when he was here many, many years ago. Found a machete. Hey, Kito, what happened to our beautiful airplane? Sorry, Buana. There really wasn't much to salvage from the plane. It got pretty badly slashed as we went through the big storm. The pontoons were just about the only thing worth saving. So, I figured we could make a raft out of them. Nothing worth salvaging? What about my awesome farm of cacti? They are right here, brother. No worries, man. Oh, I love you, man. I have no idea what all these funny symbols mean. I bet Count and Dodo could read them. He was real smart with those kinds of things. Hey, Buona. Do you think we're going to find Konododo down here? Somewhere in the Underland, I mean. Of course we are. <laughs> I think so too, Mon. Hey, check it out, Kito! A path! Whoa, Mystic! You going exploring? You bet, man. This door looks pretty solid. Hey, maybe I can...
the observatory is aimed right at the moon. Something happened up there!
Hey, what's this? Right. The Underland is real. 